the SPCA urging the public to refrain from using fireworks, adding that the noise causes great distress among animals. Now, pet owners have therefore been advised to prepare well in advance to protect them. Let's speak now on, on this and speak to the National Council's communications officer, and this is the National Council's of SPCA's uh, Kevish, Kevish, Keshvi, rather, uh, Naya, who is joining us live now. Thank you so much for your time. You know, one really thinks about fireworks and people get excited about them and people don't even think about the consequences thereof. But animals, especially dogs, are easily frightened by fireworks. And you can find some of them trying to run away and all of that. So if a dog owner is watching tonight, how do they ensure that their pet is in fact comfortable and does not run away? Good evening, Bungiwe. Thank you so much for having us. I think the first step is ensuring that all pet owners are made aware that they are responsible for their pets. And we know that the fireworks are going to take place this evening and into tomorrow as well. And so the thing that we always say is that prevention is better than cure. You need to be proactive. You know the fireworks are coming. Um, one of the most important things you can do as a pet owner is to ensure that your pet is properly identified um, by means of a microchip and by ensuring that your dog has a collar on them or your cat or whichever pet it is that you have. So that if your pet unfortunately does escape and does end up in the streets and is picked up by the SPCA or an animal welfare organization or a good Samaritan, that it's easy for us to reunite you with your pet. Um, the second thing that you can do is to bring your pet indoors, especially if this is something that you don't always do. Now is the time that you really need to consider bringing them indoors. Don't leave them outside where they are even more exposed to the loud bangs and the bright flashes. Mm. Um, and then the other thing that you can do is speak to your veterinarian. If you know that your, your dog is particularly skittish and that your dog frightens very easily, speak to a veterinarian to get medication um to to keep your pet calm and lastly i think something that many pet owners forget about is that your pet looks to you for comfort and security you are their pack and so one of the best things that you can do for your pet during this time is to stay at home with them instead mm -hmm. of going out and leaving them to face the terror of the fireworks by themselves if you can stay at home stay at home with them so that they feel a little bit more comfortable and secure with you around them and I'd like to, to stay with something that you said about proactivity. Others sometimes say that it, it's probably best to, around this time, take a, a long walk with them, keep them entertained, so to tire them out. So when the fireworks come, they may be sleeping or just resting a little bit. Would that be a good idea as well? I would say that it is a good idea, so long as it's done well before the fireworks um, start being um, lit and set off. So I don't think now at around 5 p.m. would be a good idea because many people start to celebrate a little bit early. Um, so if you've done that earlier on in the day, then that would have been a, a good idea to, tie, to try and tie out um, your pet. Um, but these are just some of the, the finer things that you can do uh, over and above what I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Another good thing can do would be if you are at home with your pets, bring them into an area that is um, a little bit more um, closed off, so not a very big area, like, you know, your bedroom would be a good one, um, away from windows, keep the doors and the curtains closed, um, put on the TV or the radio to muffle out the loud bangs. So these are some of the smaller, finer things that you can do over and above um, what I mentioned earlier, but there are a number of other tips that pet owners can follow yeah. and it can be found on our website at www.nspca.co.za under the resources section. Um, there are a number of tips there that pet owners can follow as well. And what are some of the signs then you would say um, a pet owner needs to look out for to see if there's no fireworks anxiety at play? Well, it would vary from pet to pet, but some of the most common things that you would see is that your pet would try to hide away. Um, they might be pacing up and down, a lot of panting, excessive licking, barking, whining. Um, so any any behavior that's that's unnatural to what they do on a daily basis could be a sign that, you know what, my, my dog is not really coping well with the fireworks. Um, but the telltale signs would be the dog is either trying to run away or hide. Um, sometimes you find them hiding under chairs or under your bed. Same thing with cats. Um, so a lot of hiding or pacing up and down, panting, excessive licking, barking, whining, that sort of thing. Some animals, um, they, they stress out so severely that you they, they end up missing themselves. Uh, they have diarrhea and things like that. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the more severe cases. And in that case, I would actually advise that you take your dog to a veterinarian. Don't just leave it. Yeah, and that's quite worrying. And, and you know, as people are, are going to be 
blasting their fireworks here and there, you know, without even thinking about the consequences thereof. Let's remind them when it comes to some of the laws and, you know, the rules around uh, these uh, particular fireworks. So the laws, and the, it's, it's mainly the bylaws, and it varies according to each municipality. Some municipalities um, and communities have got it right, where they've completely outlawed the use of fireworks. But as it stands, um, it is illegal to set off fireworks in a residential area, except in areas where the municipality has declared that this is where you can set off the fireworks um, regularly. And this is where we call for communities to take a stand. If you know that somebody has set off a firework in, an, in, in a place that they're not supposed to set the fireworks off, you need to pick up the phone and you need to report it. It's no use complaining about it and not mm. doing anything about it. Um, you know, put action to your words. And um, if it's not, it's not just about you, it's for the animals. Remember, the animals don't have a say in this. They don't have a choice and they would depend on you to do the right thing. Um, so report it if, if, if people are setting off fireworks. And it, it goes um, over and above just pet owners being responsible. I think yeah. the community at large, especially those who are watching this and those who don't have pets, we are telling you that pets um, and animals are affected adversely by fireworks and to choose to be compassionate Everybody needs to be a hero during this time, not just the SBCA, not just pet owners. Everybody needs to be a hero. Just be a little bit more compassionate. Think about the fact that animals don't have a say in this. They are adversely affected. And um, if you are in a position where you see an animal has strayed into your, into your yard or an animal has been adversely affected and you can see this, pick up the phone and call the SBCA and say, listen, there's a stray dog here. I think it's because of fireworks. Please, can you come and help? Everybody needs to be a hero during this time. Definitely. And uh, hopefully people do heed that warning um, in order to think of, you know, the animals, because really they're defenseless during this time. And it's important that they are protected. Kejvi, thank you so much for your time. Uh, do appreciate it. And those safety tips, hope they, came, they come in handy for some of our viewers tonight. Uh, that's uh, Kejvi Naya, Public Relations, Marketing and Communications Officer at the National Council of SPC. CAs.